we are into consulting and trading for Oracle BI product suite for last 10 years and we are specialized into hyphen product domain hyphen product uh, product suite complete BI product stack and uh, from our domain specialization we are into banking finance and uh, to some extent we are into sales as well my primary area of focus we most of our clients are located in Middle East however we provide consulting to US as well with a third party consulting so we are a three tier solution for the client for a company called Oracle Fujitsu so training is one of our line of business as we want to leverage our learning, leverage our, you know, uh, share our experience we have gained throughout our working in last 10 years as a part of the training program. And it adds a con also contributes a revenue to our company as well. So uh, there will be two people involved into training. In fact, there are three people involved into training. It's me, Amit Sharma, who would be your primary trainer. And there will be two more colleagues will be involved into training. Uh, they'll be taking up a different assigned, you know, topics like financial reports and Oracle Data Integrator. So everybody will take up the session of his own expertise. I'll be walking you through with the training program for five minutes, and then we'll look into the technical aspects of Hypin Product Suite. So the complete training, I'll walk you through with how the training will process and the various questions you may be having in your mind, what your job roles, what kind of opportunities, what you're going to learn, you know, eventually what is the advantage of the training program. Okay. So let me start with the training program is the training is designed keeping a certain skill set in mind. We are working industry, so we know very well uh, what is current market demand. Every three months we revise our course in order to you know, in sync our training program with the market demand. So the primary skills of this, after this program, the primary skill of this training program is, is as space developer. The secondary skill would be high period planning. When I say primary skill, it means you would have a expert level knowledge if you complete success complete this training successfully and do follow all the lab guides, practice material, case studies and read the documentation. You would have expert level knowledge of IPN aspects naturally that you can have it maximum as a part of the training program. So the primary skill would be as a developer what all roles and responsibility you it is expected from you as a SBS developer or consultant, we'll be covering that. The second skill would be high PN planning, ODI integration part, and reporting. We'll cover two reports, financial report and smart view. In fact, in a simple word, we'll be covering the complete life cycle of SBS Cube. The complete life cycle of SBS Cube consists of Understanding underlying data structure, data model, converting the data model into the form that HyperN can take up, and finally make the data into information so that we can supply to the users, business users. So the complete life cycle will talk about this. Let me go step by step. Okay, so the the training would be divided into various modules. The module first would be we will discuss about the data warehousing architecture for an Hypean consultant point of view. So if you are new to data warehouse, you will be getting an idea what is data warehouse, why do we use it and various other aspects of it. If you are already into BI and data warehousing space for years, it will help you to understand map the existing knowledge in the data warehousing from Hypean point of view. So the first model would be data warehousing and um, where does complete Hyperion so it come into picture for data warehouse 
the more I'm more focused about, I just want to showcase that which area, what kind of business from IP and product suite can address, where does it come into picture. So this model, there would be a two classes on this model and primarily we'll discuss about data modeling architecture and dimension architecture which is required for us to design a high PN product in order to implement high PN space. Dimension modeling and data warehousing are two important aspects we are going to talk about in first two sessions. Okay, the second module, this would be module first. The second module would be implementing as space. In implementing as space, um, we'll discuss about two areas of implementation. Sorry. As I said, we understand HyperN not only from technical front of view, we also understand HyperN as a product implementation in various domain. So we'll discuss HyperN from reporting, reporting solution and planning as well as implementation for planning and budgeting solution. And from domain wise, from business domain, we have plenty of case studies published in our documentation, in our blog. Uh, so business domain, as, as I said, we are specialized into financial domain and sales. So you will have a case studies, additional case studies where we have address our POCs for our client. We'll showcase the same thing to you. How you capture the business requirement, convert the requirement into solutions. So for business case study, we'll talk about one. FinOps that is called financial operation model. One of the most successful projects we have delivered so far with 5,000 plus concurrent user. One of the most successful project we have delivered and we learn a lot from this project from all point of view, from business point of view, from uh, technology point of view. So this has been running for last six years, most successful project. Um, there's another project we'll work on this would be the additional case study for your learning as a part of high pay implementation called workforce planning and capex plan. This is an additional learning for you in case you want to design it. You want to understand high PN as an implementation for various business aspects. So the major area of our learning would be fall under that. So if I say 60%, 65% of our learning are uh, part of S space. Our learning and our efforts. The module third, eventually we understand at the end of the day, we supply the information to the user as in terms of reports. And we understand very well because we work close to the business that at the end of the day, who is going to use my solution? What is their mindset and how do we present the information to them so that they feel comfortable to work in it? So most of my end users are financial user consultant. So they're more inclined toward function than technology. So we'll talk about a reporting solution. In a reporting solution, we have published a couple of case studies in reporting. So we'll talk about business reporting, management reporting, ad hoc reporting, and standard reporting using a smart view. Smart view is the one solution, uh, very popular solution these days, interactive reporting solution, which business users love to use it, seeing its comfort and very easy to use navigation. So primarily we want to supply, we want to provide user a simple view to navigate the information and data. And we are trying to go away from programming Therefore, the administration and maintenance can be done fast. Uh, we also talk about statutory application creation. As I said, most we have, uh, you know, HyperN space has cost 2,300 plus clients, the last statistics. And most of the clients are larger bank, financial industries. As is used across the globe, but the revenue partner, if, the, if you look at the revenue contribution, 80% revenue comes from the banking and financial sector. So we cannot avoid, you know, paying attention to the kind of reporting being done in, in these kind of areas. So therefore we are going to have a statutory reporting using 
financial report. And your fourth module would be another important module called high PL planning and budgeting solution. Now the, the planning and budgeting is the most integrated part of every business these days. Right from the small business, even a small pawn shop to a big enterprise, they require planning and budgeting. And with the cut through competition in the market, it is being uh, assumed it's integrated part and with, without that, you know, business cannot grow and thrive. So in the old days, it was not a structure. These days, you have a structured solution. So uh, we'll be discussing about high planning implementation for capex, capital expense. That would be one cap uh, case studies and workforce planning. Workforce planning is is called a GHR application, global human resource application. So if you see, this is a complete paradigm. It's a complete end-to-end -end implementation from <coughs> reporting and uh, a planning budgeting solution. Okay, the complete training program, total duration would be 40 hours. It's very extensive, very detailed program. And we assume 40 hours, 40 hour session will be delivered by me you need another to be very honest to you know to gain a real experience and knowledge in the product you require twice the time we spend so so it would be 40 hour efforts from my end training delivery and you require another 80 hours from your end because well, there would be a lot of case studies and you know practice material you will have which you require to practice the total duration from mine would be 40 hours, which is split across uh, 25 hours to space, 3 hours to reporting and for planning. It will give you a detailed session plan where every session, when which session would be delivered, what is the duration of the session, everything would be given in detail in a session plan. Okay, next is uh, how do you practice? So server setup. Server setup have two things. First, we'll work on most advanced version of Hyphen product suite. And we work on various platforms. So I'll be giving you my god. Okay, so the server setup will work in two environments, version standalone and enterprise. We have set up a standalone enterprise. I'm going to mute this. In the standalone version, uh, we'll help you to provide the server setup. In terms of, we'll provide the video set, video tutorial, we'll support in hyper installation. First, we'll provide you installation document. Installation document very very detailed, very simple and with lot of screenshot and installation video. So installation standalone installation is pretty easy, just a 50 minutes affair. It doesn't require much efforts. Just a next next next. Any operating system can be used for standalone installation. And if you still have issue, there would be a support team to assist in installation. We strongly suggest you to set up the server into your environment. Therefore, you can play around with this. If we give you remote access, this is relatively slow. And there are many administrative tasks you cannot do it because there will be one instance. So server setup is standalone. You can do it right away. It's up to your wish. You can do it anytime. If you still have issue, there will be a support team to assist you. For enterprise installation, uh, enterprise, it's a complete hyper product suite. This, this has a specific prerequisite certain you need a Windows operating 2003 server uh, certain amount of memory 4 GB of memory it's a complete enterprise server therefore later point of time when you are familiar with the high PN, you can go for enterprise installation which we may not require in the beginning so before we start planning 3-4 days